So for our first application, we're actually at Siemens booth. And it might not be obvious, but this is a wine barrel that was printed using DED, or more specifically, a laser wire additive manufacturing with stainless steel. The piece is, as you can tell, enormous. We think it's actually one of the largest metal pieces at the show, which is probably obvious with my size. They chose to use additive manufacturing to make this design that you can see on the side, as well as to print the part faster. Though the part was actually printed in multiple pieces, it was created on a special printer that was designed by Irapa Laser with the help of Siemens, Janus and also VLM Robotics. As you know, we're taking a look at some of the most interesting applications that we've seen today at Formnex and we would be remiss if we didn't mention this car from Massivit 3D. It's actually an art piece that was made as an homage to David Bowie years ago, as you can maybe see by the design. It was created using Massivit's gel technology, which works by deposing a gel resin and then curing it instantly. This was important because it actually means that the part was able to be printed simultaneously in seven parts with the extruder heads, which work differently, and with little to no support, which is obviously a benefit when it comes to post-processing. Though it doesn't move, the piece is exceptional as an art piece and a sign of how big some of these parts can truly get, which is one of the benefits that we've seen at Formnex this year. So right now we're at Polymaker's booth, the filament creator for what is probably one of the most fun applications that we've seen so far at the show. It might not be immediately obvious, but these cars have been printed in a Lego-inspired way. That is to say, the creator, Matt Denton, made blocks similar to the famous toys and then put the car together. He used Polymaker's filament, including TPU and PLA, to make the pieces. They're not moving right now, but it actually is possible for the car to drive, as inspired by the artist's nephew, who he wanted to give a go-kart to. For our next application today, we have something that you might have seen a couple of times before. This boat has been fully 3D printed, at least for the hull. And it's actually very interesting because they managed to make it out of 100% recycled PP, along with about 30% carbon fiber. Caracol, which is an Italian company, designed the boat in order to optimize the design for the sailboat itself. It was actually printed in one part in a way that maximized its potential while also using a part that's more recycled. I think we can all appreciate that if it's on the ocean, we want material that's a little more sustainable. For our last application, what we have is this incredible concrete table, which was made by Rosa Gambh, which actually, if you don't remember, was also the company that made the first 3D printed house in Germany. It was made using concrete extrusion methods with reinforced concrete. And in case you can't see from the design, it was actually made in two pieces, the flat table and the rest of it. We wanted to show it to you today because it's a great application of concrete 3D printing, which, as you might guess, is getting more and more popular, especially when it comes to construction and interior decorating.